headlines today. England's footballers prepare for their toughest test. They'll play defending champions France for a place in the World Cup semi-finals later this evening. Yes, a very good morning from Doha. It is the quarter-final lineup that many had predicted when this World Cup draw was made. The holders, France, taking on England, the biggest test of their World Cup so far, and at stake, a place in the semi-finals. Another child dies from invasive strep A, bringing the total to 16 since September. The blind farmer breaking down barriers for more disabled people to work in the agricultural industry. The Daily Mail says strike action is holding Britain hostage. On its front page, it's quoting Conservative MPs who are criticising the walkouts for making Christmas miserable at best and dangerous at worst. NHS winter crisis erupts after years of warnings is headline in the eye. The paper says doctors are worried about the number of children coming through A&E with respiratory problems and reports concerns seriously ill can't rely on ambulances arriving. The back page of The Guardian is building excitement ahead of this evening's World Cup match, of course, between England and France. It's showtime, is the headline. And The Sun also is leading with football fever. It's front page carrying an image of England captain Harry Kane <laughs> on a slice... Sorry, I hadn't seen that. On a slice of toast. <laughs> with the words, let's make French toast, lads. There you go. Uh, plenty of looking ahead to, today, this morning. This is the day, isn't it? This is this morning. We are excused a moment uh, of going, this is a big night for English football. And we'll find out more stats. Um, talking to Rio Ferdinand a little later yes, on the programme for, for a bit of perspective, because he's kind very, of been there in big tournaments, knows what it feels like. very optimistic, yeah. rightly so. You know, Helen, we were talking about those temperatures. You were quite um, astounded by the Bournemouth temperature, Minus weren't you? eight in Minus Bournemouth. eight. No. No. These are Brits Some people just in the Serpentine in London. Yeah. OK? Uh, so, what, we had temperatures in Oxfordshire, minus nine, Matt was saying, wasn't he? And then we've had uh, the Bournemouth temperature, minus eight, overnight. So, in London, the daytime temperature was a balmy minus three degrees Celsius, right? And people have been dipping, taking a dip in the Serpentine yesterday. It's it, been... It beggars belief. Uh, for the record, it has been... We were just checking. It's been a lot colder in Bournemouth in the past, but it's been a long time. Was it minus 13 and 63 it, or something? But it does get to those temperatures in the winter. In minus 8. It, it, that, I don't think that's as uncommon as you think. Uh, we're talking about nativity plays today. This is uh, from a uh, picture from Panto. And this is Sir Ian McKellen as Mother Goose. Uh, and that's Theatre Royal in Brighton until tomorrow. Then it's going into London after that. I just...